How much will 100,000 Jasmine be worth in 2025? In today's video, let's find out. And I first want to mention how as of right now, 100,000 Jasmine is currently worth $560. And what this means is that if during the next bull run, let's say, hypothetically speaking, Jasmine were to reach the price of 25 cents and anyone out there owns 100,000 Jasmine as of right now, they would have managed to potentially turn their $560 investment into a staggering 25 cents thousand dollars i mean that's crazy right there jasmine just going to the price of 25 cents is already over a 40x from here i think that is just so insane i think jasmine is so undervalued and i think it has so much room to grow and personally speaking do i think jasmine can reach the price of 25 cents during the next bull run yes i do and let me explain why first of all if we take a look at jasmine what are they focused on? They are focused on data democracy. And what that means is that quite essentially, Jasmine is trying to help provide data storage in a decentralized way. Jasmine is trying to make it harder for bad actors slash hackers to actually access people's information. And I think what Jasmine is doing is absolutely amazing. Because for example, if let's say we take a look at data storage in a centralized way, for example, let's say there is a single institution that holds everyone's data. Let's say that is the case. If let's say this institution gets breached, you know, let's say their data gets accessed by these bad actors slash hackers, then what happens, right? Everyone's data is going to get exposed. And if that were to happen, it would obviously be terrible. And I think that, if anything, truly highlights the dangers of storing data in a centralized way. I think decentralized data storage is clearly the much better option. There is a lot of potential risk associated with centralized data storage. However, this is where Jasmine steps in. They are trying to solve that issue through data storage in a decentralized way and i think that right there is so fantastic and you know a lot of people out there most notably the jasmine haters they like to say oh man who cares about data storage oh does that industry even have a lot of potential oh man why is jasmine even focused on that you know some people out there they like to complain about this but here's the thing for the people who say that i think they have absolutely no idea what they're even talking about because if we take a look at this according to fortune business insights the global data storage market size is projected to reach over 777 billion dollars by 2030. I mean, that's insane right there. The data storage market has the potential to be so massive in the future, and it's growing at a very rapid pace. Clearly, in my opinion, Jasmine, they're focused on the right industry, and I think as a result, they will be able to reach great heights in the future. So when I take into consideration the industry that Jasmine is focused on, and when I consider its future potential, you know, when I take all of that into account, I really do believe that Jasmine reaching the price of 25 cents during the next bull run is not out of the realm of possibility. In fact, I think Jasmine Jasmine will reach that price target fairly easily. And now when it comes to Jasmine at the price of 50 cents, do I believe that it can reach this during the next bull run? Yes, I do. And I'll explain why I think so. First of all, if I take a look at Jasmine, I believe that it has such amazing fundamentals. Most notably, I think the team behind Jasmine is just absolutely extraordinary. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. If we take a look at the team that is behind Jasmine, it is mostly consisted of former business executives who have extensive business experience. For example, if we take a look at the representative director of Jasmine, his name is Kunitake Ando. And by the way, he is the former president and COO of the Sony Corporation. And I think that right there is very impressive. And also, if we take a look at the president and COO of Jasmine, his name is Kazumaza Sato, and he is the former CEO of Sony Style Japan. And also, last but not least, if we take a look at Jasmine's current CEO, his name is Hiroshi Harada, and he used to work at KPMG. And keep in mind, KPMG is one of the big four accounting firms. So I think that right there is also very impressive. I mean, the team that is behind Jasmine is just absolutely absolutely extraordinary and I think they are being run by the right people and as a result I have great confidence in the future of Jasmine and I think it will be able to reach great heights in the future and also something else that I find very amazing about Jasmine is the fact that Jasmine is actually the first ever legally compliant crypto in Japan and I think that right there is very impressive especially when you consider how the Japanese law strictly governs cryptocurrency transactions that are subject to the financial services agency inspections. So I mean, Jasmine had to really go through extremely strict regulations to even become legal in Japan in the first place. And I think that right there truly speaks volumes to not only the Jasmine team, 
but I think it also speaks volumes as to just how solid Jasmine is fundamentally speaking. I think Jasmine has very solid fundamentals and I think it will have no issue reaching the price of 50 cents during the next bull run. And now I want to take a look at Jasmine at the price of a dollar and when it comes to this I actually think that there is a very high likelihood this might happen. A lot of people think that, oh, $1 for Jasmine during the next bull run, oh, it's too high, it's too ridiculous of a goal, but I don't think so. In fact, there are many bullish metrics out there that show how Jasmine could very well reach this during the next bull run, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. First of all, if we take a look back in 2021, when the crypto space overall was euphoric, you know, when Bitcoin was at $68,000, when altcoins were having that massive rally, you know, when all of that was going down, there was only around 300 million people owning cryptos in the world. And that right there, it may seem like a lot to some people, oh, 300 million, but in reality, it's actually not that much compared to right here, right now. In fact, as of right now, there is over 420 million and people owning cryptos in the world. And I think that right there is very shocking because what that means is that currently there is more people than ever before in history owning cryptos. So just imagine this, right? If in 2021, the crypto space overall was still able to have that massive rally despite only having around 300 million people owning cryptos, just imagine what's going to happen during the next bull run, especially now that we have over 420 million people owning cryptos. I mean, the next bull run could potentially be really insane. During the next bull run, the FOMO, the buying volume, the buying pressure, all of that could very well be at an all-time high. And I believe that during the next bull run, Bitcoin is going to go to at least the price of $100,000. And I think when that happens, you know, the altcoin season is just going to be absolutely insane. I think once Bitcoin reaches 100K, altcoins are just going to go through the roof. And I think Jasmine will be no different. I think Jasmine is going to go along with the ride. And I think it's going to have a monstrous bull run. You know, when I consider where the data storage industry is heading, when I consider how solid the fundamentals are for Jasmine, I take a look at its team, I take a look at its use case. And also, last but not least, when I take a look at how massive if the next bull run could potentially be you know when i take all of that into consideration i really do believe that jasmine reaching the price of a dollar is not that ridiculous of a goal in fact i actually believe it's a very feasible goal for jasmine to reach during the next bull run i think jasmine has such massive potential and by the way this video is not a invitation to buy sell or trade jasmine that is not the case whatsoever this is not financial advice and this video is just my opinion only and if you want to check out a very interesting video make sure Sure to go ahead and click on this thumbnail right here it's an amazing video and i think you all would really love it it's a very wonderful video